I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ways you can make money as a thumbnail artist in 2023, so let's get started. Now guys, here's the thing. Designing thumbnails has been around for quite some time, and people have been making pretty good amounts of money with this skill. I mean, if you go over to Fiverr and you search for a thumbnail, you're gonna find over 30,000 different services available. There's a lot of competition here. And some of these sellers are making thousands of dollars each. As of 2022, there were more than 51 million YouTube channels out there. So as you can tell, there's a lot of demand for thumbnails. Not all of those channels are active, but still, we're talking about a huge number of thumbnails that are needed. And so what most YouTube channels do is they outsource this process to a freelancer that they find on Fiverr, Upwork, or any other freelancing website. If you repeat the same experiment on Upwork, you're gonna find a bunch of freelancers from all around the world that are making multiple five figures. So the earning potential here is pretty decent. The only problem is the competition. It's not easy to stand out if you're new to this niche. I mean, let's just imagine this. Let's say that you're completely new to YouTube thumbnails. You're slowly but surely building up your skill set, getting better and better at designing them, and you want to set up a gig on Fiverr. You've got 30,000 other sellers to compete against, so your chances of standing out from the crowd are very, very slim. But now, guys, here's the thing. Here's why I'm recording this video in January 2023. There is a very specific reason for it. I believe that we are witnessing a major shift in attention. People are not that interested in longer videos anymore. They would rather watch shorts or TikToks or Instagram reels. And the social media platforms know this. For that reason, we are seeing YouTube shorts being heavily promoted. I mean, it's far easier to get a bunch of views with a YouTube short as compared to a regular video. And that's why there are over 450 million videos posted in the shorts category so far. And there is room for more. And the same thing is true with TikToks. They are getting more and more popular every day and it is far easier for content creators to get a good view count with a shorter video. We can also see that on Instagram. The algorithm is heavily promoting reels. Which is why a lot of content creators have switched over to shorter videos. Instead of taking an entire hour to create a script for a video, to record it, to do all the editing and the cutting and all that, a lot of people are switching over to short attention grabbing clips like these ones. But here's the thing about it. YouTube has just released a major update. Back in the day, if you wanted to monetize content on YouTube, you would have needed to post longer videos and display ads on them. That is how you would have been invited to the YouTube Partner Program and from that point on you would have been paid. Advertisers display ads on your videos, people watch them and you get paid in ad revenue on a monthly basis. That's pretty much how it worked up until recently. But starting with February 1st, 2023, YouTube is going to absolutely change the game because they are introducing shorts feed ads. This is a way you can earn from ads and YouTube Premium in the Shorts feed. In other words, YouTube is monetizing YouTube Shorts in a matter of weeks from now. And as you can see, they've already started implementing that option. If you head over to your channel dashboard, you can actually find it under the Earn subsection. So here's what you need to understand about this. Up until recently, if you wanted to apply for the YouTube Partner Program and get paid in ad revenue, you would have needed 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. That's what it took to monetize your channel. So in order to monetize mine, I had to go through that. But that changes with February 1st. Instead of those 4,000 hours of watch time, it's enough to have 10 million views on your YouTube Shorts over the last 90 days, and that will get your channel monetized. So as you can see, it is either or. You don't need to have both of them. It is enough to have one. You still need to pass that threshold of 1,000 subscribers. But let me tell you something. Getting 10 million YouTube Shorts views is not that difficult, especially with the way the algorithm is promoting them. Now, what does this have to do with thumbnails exactly? Well, as the attention will shift towards short videos and a lot more content creators will switch over to YouTube Shorts, chances are they will start adding thumbnails as well. Now, you can already add thumbnails to YouTube Shorts, but a lot of people choose not to do it for some reason. However, as they get monetized, as they become more important, people will most likely start using thumbnails on their Shorts as well. And that opens up a new possibility for us, because here's the thing. If you just search for a thumbnail on Fiverr, you can find 30,000 services. But if I search for thumbnail for YouTube Shorts, let's see what we can find. Well, guys, 10,000 different services. That is quite the difference, isn't it? Not only that, but most of these guys are not actually creating thumbnails. They're just editing YouTube Shorts. So 
you probably have way fewer than 10,000 services available. Bottom line, the competition here is not as crazy. And there's more to it than that. Remember, YouTube is not the only platform that allows short clips. Instagram is another one of them. And what you're gonna notice, once again, is that a lot of creators are actually using custom thumbnails for their Instagram Reels. Chances are, this is the work of a thumbnail artist. I highly doubt it that Alex Formosi created them himself. And that's where the opportunity lies. As more and more people will switch over to short content, the demand in thumbnails also increases exponentially. So the best thing you can do if you're watching this video right now is set up a gig on any freelancing website you can connect to. I'm talking about Fiverr. I'm talking about truelancer.com, freelancer.com, people per hour, Upwork, and the list goes on. You wanna set up a gig, as a thumbnail artist, but you want to focus on short content. As people say, the riches are in the niches. So if you manage to become one of the best thumbnail designers when it comes to YouTube shorts, TikToks, Reels, and whatnot, you can really stand out from the crowd quite easily. And in that case, you don't have to compete against 30,000 other sellers. Keep that in mind. But that is not the only way you can find a job as a thumbnail artist. At this point, I'm going to suppose that you already have the skill or you know how to learn the skill because there are countless different tutorials out there on YouTube free of charge that you can learn from. So if you do want to learn this skill, there is plenty of information out there. When it comes to finding clients, apart from listing your services as a freelancer on Fiverr and all of the other websites, there are a few more things you can do. If you're still watching this video, you're actually pretty lucky because this is a platform that a lot of people have no clue about. Now, some of you watching this video might already be familiar with Paddy Galloway's work. He's analyzing what famous YouTubers are doing to get their results. He's deconstructing their videos and strategy, and he does a pretty good job, to say the least. But now, as far as I know, he's working on building his own platform, which is called YouTubeJobs.co. Make sure you spell that correctly. And this is a platform where freelancers can find work. Whether a talented YouTube professional or creator, here you can find your dream job or next ideal teammate. This is literally going to connect YouTube channel owners with freelancers who have a specific skill set. That includes video editors, voiceover actors, and obviously thumbnail artists as well. So this is a place where you can literally work with some of the biggest YouTube creators in the industry. We're talking about Mr. Beast, Brave Wilderness here with 20 million subscribers, and the list goes on and on. We've got some pretty big players here. Now, if you're a thumbnail artist, what you wanna do is join as talent. And as soon as you click on that, you will be able to pick your skill set. So you're gonna pick the option that best describes you. Again, it's not only for thumbnail designers, but you can also join as a channel manager, a scriptwriter, a producer, a video editor, and the list goes on. Then you want to set up your profile, describe your previous work, and eventually you get to land a job for one of these clients. Remember, and the thing about it is that you only need a few recurring clients that keep coming back to you every single week for new thumbnails. And that's all you need, really. You don't need to have hundreds of clients. You only need a few. Alternatively, what you can do is actually reach out to these channels yourself. Once you find a channel you want to work with, you want to go to the about section, then click on view email address and that is actually going to display the email. Now you want to reach out to that YouTube channel and offer them your services. Ideally, you want to look for channels that are already posting YouTube shorts but don't have any thumbnails. They don't have custom thumbnails, right? And if you really want to take it to the next level and go the extra mile, put in a little bit of additional work, you may want to create one or two custom thumbnails for each and every single one of the channels you're reaching out to. But that is going to take some time. So just take it into account. I'm going to leave that up to you. What is for sure is that working as a thumbnail artist is sounding more attractive than ever. The demand is most likely going to increase significantly in the coming months. So there's a lot of money to be made here. If you already have the skill, I urge you to connect to every freelancing website, follow through these steps that I've just laid out for you, and try to get a few recurring clients. If you don't have the skill just yet, then go ahead and look up tutorials on YouTube because it's not actually that difficult. Not to mention you've got all sorts of different tools that you can use. For instance, you can connect to canva.com, type in YouTube thumbnail or something like that, and you can find tens of thousands of pre-done templates. Look at this. I'm just gonna pick YouTube thumbnail and Canva will literally display hundreds of templates that I can work with. 14,000 to be a little bit more precise. This is a pretty good starting point, isn't it? And most of them are free. So you've got everything it takes to make this work. That's it for now and thanks for watching.